Welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break, your home for current community talk, with Patricia Duart, Darlene Hayes, and Connie Wright. Hello, welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break. We're meeting a new friend, or at least new to, to me, and maybe new to, I don't know if you guys have known, mm -hmm. known Joanne for a while. Joanne Phipps, long-term resident of Hopkinton. But we're getting into summer. I mean, isn't July 4th, like seemingly, the, I mean, Memorial Day technically is, but July 4th is a big deal across the country and in unique ways in towns and cities. And if you've lived here long enough, you know about the Horribles Parade here in Hopkinton. So we've got a long-term, long-time resident, Joanne Phipps, visiting with us today, who's going to share in her, in her conversation about some of the history of Hopkinton and around this event. So you were telling us how, when you were younger, and you, the McIntyre, so the, the sharing the yard, so yeah. tell us Take more. us back. So you grew up here. I grew, yeah. Um, you had, coming up from Main Street, you had um, the, the Kennys, who mm -hmm. had the gas station, right. Paul Kenny. Mm -hmm. okay. And um, then you had the McIntyres. And then my house, my parents' house, mm -hmm. and then another relative of the McIntyre's on the other side of my house. And the story goes that we always had barbecues for Fourth of July, and you all you never put a gate up. Mm -hmm. You never um, put your flowers where the kids might want to play. <laughs> I mean, they did everything so that the kids could have a ball field. So was um, that right downtown? It was right up on Pleasant Street. You go oh, up okay. and, and the, the all, you went all the way up. You just ran and played tag and everything yeah, all the, the way up. the whole streets yourself. Every <laughs> one of those houses had their yards open to all the kids. How oh, fun. Oh. And you just, and McIntyre's was the best. <laughs> it, he, had, um, he had a grape arbor, arbor mm. and it was made with very big um, metal. And it was the closest thing that we had ever seen from a jingle, jungle gym. Jungle gym. Ah, oh, so you just finished your monkey bars in jungle so, gym. So we had, to, but we had to do our work. We would go over and he'd come out and he'd say, nope, you got to get all the grapes down before we're going to go play in there the, and play, play on, on the thing. Yeah. So we'd go over and when they were ready, we'd pick the grapes and, you know, and then oh. we could hang off of the... <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the jungle gym. I, th I think it was amazing what you said of, right before we had started is that your family's been here how many generations? Seven. Seven. That's wow. your generation. Well, yeah, and so then my, you sis, my daughters are now eight. Wow. And you have grandchildren. And grandchildren, yeah. So wow. what brought your family here seven generations ago? Well, they were, they were from Ireland, and this is where they, you know, they, they came. They chose Hopkinton. And they came to Hopkinton. And actually, the first Catholic Mass that was said in Hopkinton mm -hmm. was su said um, by my great great grandfather not he didn't say it right. but in his house oh, wow. my word. yeah so, so my goodness. why Hopkinton do you know not really I mm -hmm. think it was just because I mean my my uh, grandmother had her grocery store over on Maple Street in Hayden Row oh wow and uh, you know just everybody but Pleasant Street was the place to be. That was the, that was the, <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. was the, that was the, big well, street. it's it was, still a beautiful street. It, it is. is. It's now the cut through and, to everything. Mm -hmm. But it was always, everybody was out, everybody was playing, and no matter what parent was there, mm -hmm. that parent was in charge. Yes, that's so true. You never, a village, you, you, exactly, that's what I was going to say. They had, it was, whatever parent was there was in charge. And you never heard anybody say, well, you're not my mother. That's what the good old days across the I country. Mean, I mean, you that. just went out there. Mm -hmm. And everybody did, you know. And the, we always had those Fourth of July for, um, barbecues and everything. And if they came, all the people brought stuff. And yeah. you just did that all day. But I guess at one point, the young ones were getting a little rowdy. They were getting bored. There was nothing to do. Mm -hmm. What are we going to do now, you know? And I guess finally Pop or Mr. McIntyre. <laughs> but as we called him, it was Pop. Matter of fact, I had to call somebody the other day because I don't think I ever called him by his real name. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying, well, yeah, Pop McIntyre. <laughs> but he was James Charles, ah. Charlie. But um, 
he, he got up and went into his barn and he came back out. He worked for Denison Paper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Framing him. And, oh, yes. Okay. And <coughs> any of the paper that was not cut properly, oh, the workers could bring home. Mm -hmm. So he went in and he came out with all this cray paper and he, he said, why don't you decorate your bikes and your doll carriages and give us a parade and stop being <gasps> cranky. Yeah. So you guys wow. were the first parade. So wow. that's what we did. And then after that, it just grew and actually um, they had, the, the adults did them. And when they did them, they were for, it was a time to poke fun at whatever you didn't like about what was going on in your town. Mm -hmm. oh. it, you know, you could, you could, you know, yep. I mean. Good natured. Good yes, natured. Yes, fun yes, and yes, vegan. Right, right. And uh, so they, they started and they had the floats and the first time they had the, you know, they had the adult floats and um, Fenton Street immediately was the first town, the street that called up and wanted to know if they could come over next year too. Mm. And that just grew. Wow. Yeah, everybody wanted to be part of it. Well, at one so point, neighborhoods there was, did yeah. these mm -hmm. floats and yeah. Wow. Yeah. And at one point, it got to the point that you guys actually had a reviewing stand in the old Koala's lot, right? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And there was and a there prize. There were judges there and prizes. Oh yeah. And then it got to be too big, so you couldn't have, you, you know, you couldn't have a barbecue. There were too many people mm -hmm. to come onto Pleasant Street or any place up there. And um, the McIntyres owned a restaurant, the Walnut Grove, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so the end of your parade, all your floats went down behind the restaurant, and they had mm -hmm. treats and hot dogs Aww. and watermelon and everything and games for so all the kids. Where was that restaurant, Walnut Grove? Was that in Hopkinton? Yes. And where was that? Um, well, if you go down, as if you go into Woodville. It's, mm -hmm. you know, with the, the, there's a church there now? Or? Yes, yes, no. yes. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. The Baptist it was, church? It, uh, oh, the the, mo the, the, the Islamic center? center. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. It was it was down there. Okay. Oh, yeah, and all the, and all the, the land truck. where where Tommy Max business was okay. was all yeah. their, oh, their right. land gotcha. in the back. Okay. But they because um, so that, that was a, a different restaurant when I was a kid. It, and that's yes, there was a chicken place there. Yeah, it was also um, a nightclub. I, I was going to say it was. Oh, like I, a, I, I it was like a strip that. club at one point. Yeah. It was a topless bar. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. In the good old days, it was Walnut Grove Restaurant. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so that's, so that, that's how, you know, it got started and it just grew and grew. Was it always called the Horribles Parade? Yes. Where did that because, name come? Well, I think it was, you know, this, somebody came up with it when they were saying, oh, this is, this is horrible. We can't say this, uh, so we can't do that. Uh, or we shouldn't put it that way. Or, yeah. you know, something yeah. came up and they, they said, this is horrible. And then... It just was horrible. It's stuck. <laughs> well, the word har for horrible parades actually has a huge deep root in New England. Ah. So, you know, probably when they started with the kids and the carriages and the bicycles, mm -hmm. it was just the kids' parade. Right. Yeah. When the adults got in, they probably already knew about this, but there were small towns all over New England that did yeah. horrible parades. Yeah. Okay. And they yeah. were really mocking current political times in right. the communities. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, right. And they still happen all over. Um, and some of them are spread down to Middle Atlantic and yeah. things like that. Yeah. But, but um, yeah, HCAM's got some information posted around about the history of the Horribles Parade. Yeah. I think yeah. I read um, it started in the 30s in the U.S., but, you know, um, and so it does have that history. Of and, and Colleen Roy um, mm -hmm. uh, wrote that piece. Yeah. Ah. So Colleen Roy is actually a McIntyre and friend of Joanne's. Okay. And, uh, wow. Yeah. They have so what a legacy. But it, it was always fun, and it took off so much. And even across the street from McIntyre's was the Mr. Snyder, and he wanted to do something. He always came over and participated, but he wanted to do something so special. So on May Day, he made a May Day poll mm -hmm. and had treats for all the kids. Oh, that's so oh I remember May Day poll. And, and oh, I see yeah. that very often. And he anymore. did that, and then a lady up the street, um, I can't think, I know her name as well as I'm sitting here, but um, <laughs> she wanted to do something too. So she had, on Easter, she had a big egg hunt for the whole neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Cute, yeah. cute. And it was just, it's just what you did. Yeah. And so over the years, the Horrible's Parade, it then uh, the reputation has become all the water. Ah. When did that all start? Because 
Um, I I've only, and I'm going to be straight honest, I've only been to the Harles Parade. We've been here. Oh, the squirt guns? The oh, but yeah, we've only guns. been here yeah. probably about 23 years. Well, and um, yeah, the water was involved then. I've been yeah. to a bunch. It used to be just little squirt guns and everything. Yeah. But then it got to the point for everybody wanted to outdo the last one or something right. and have a big so one. Big or super set and, and, then, and now they don't want you to have any water because, oh. the, you know, somebody could get hurt. I went to the, well, I to heard the about parade for the first time. Someone with hoses time. in their yard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, right. Shooting at the parade? <laughs> yeah, shooting oh, yeah. at the parade. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, with the, like the squirt things right. that hurt. Yeah, oh, I the, thought the, they were hoses. Yeah, I they were out there in their front lawns with hoses. Oh, oh yeah. I went one for the first time last year. I think it was last year oh, that, that I went was, to the yeah. horribles. That was horrible. That was a horrible parade. <laughs> in, 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 the, in the funniest way. But, yeah, I think they still had the water guns. Well, yeah, but on a hot day, you would think water would be fun. Every year we would go, but... The squirt guns were on the float squirting right, the crash right. and then they were also throwing candy and doing yeah, that yeah. And, yeah. and whatnot. It was fun. Because kids loved it. You yeah, know, if, it's, you know, if it's a hot yeah. July 4th yeah. day. Well, we had all kinds of things we used to do. And um, one of the things is we got to the point where the McIntyres and the Careys, my family, um, would play volleyball. Mm -hmm. and we'd have contests and everybody got to play even the littlest and even the oldest they all had to be on had to play a little Equal bit teams, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and um, it got to be quite a contest you know it was a big deal it was like it was you know the Red Sox or something and um, at one point all of a sudden they came out and Tommy Mack did it again he got a trophy, mm. had a trophy made, and whoever, whichever family won, oh, got the trophy. took it home for the year. Oh, okay. okay. And he, st he started And that happens at the boat parade now, there's a trophy every year, and it's a, it's a propeller prop, a prop from the boat, and they, they put the name of the family in the year, oh. and then the prop comes back every so year. So it's the Horribles Parade connected to the boat parade. No. Yeah, oh, just cool. totally and really, just another wonderful event in town on July yeah. 4th. But the Horribles Parade, does it still have trophies? I think it does. Well, they yes. I, I, well, I know that Frank DeRusso won one last year. Well, I know that it or was, yeah, um, it had so many people now go to their summer homes and they do right. this and that and um, they travel. And uh, of course, we didn't do any, much of that at right. all back nobody when did I was young. Nobody did. Right. So this was important. But then um, Lily and um, her husband, Len. Um, Holden, the yeah. Holden's Lily, Lily. Street. Yeah, yeah they, they just moved last year. Th th yes, and they took it over for a while and tried to get it, build it back up again. But you know, the people just they're, they're so busy. The families well, aren't. Yeah. Last year, I, I know the year of the three hundredth. I thought it was a pretty good parade. It was pretty yeah. busy. Maybe that was a, yeah. Maybe yeah. That was a year. And and, um, was, and last year's was pretty good. Mm -hmm. So I, I mean, it, it it goes like everything. It's they they go in and cycles. And and well, this year's hope, supposed yeah. to be pretty big. Really? What what's what's the plan for this year? What do you say? What's going on? Do you know or? What do you, uh, we are we are having a few. Well, I think I don't know how many trucks have already. <coughs> uh, they're doing, and it's more of a. Salute to Tommy Mack. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So tell us about Tommy Mack. Oh, you're not going to make me cry. No. Just <laughs> <laughs> such Every, important that honor. that whole neighborhood, that whole family, they would do anything for anybody. Mm -hmm. And if you, if my mother was out shoveling and they went by, Mary, get out of the way. In came the truck. Yeah. Um, yep. um, no. Oh, right. no. Yeah, I, I know. I know. I know. Sorry. I didn't mean to bring up. No, that's all right. It's, it's not. It's not, but um, he, they always did the right thing. They, yeah. Um, I was um, on the board of directors for Little League. Well, we needed to fix the field every year. So who did you call? Tommy Mack. Tommy Mack. Mm -hmm. And Sammy Click would come with his tractor, and Tommy would come with the dirt, and they'd fix the field. Yeah. I know when I was at the service for Tommy, um, you know, it got moved into St. John's yes. because of how big it was. The wake itself was at St. John's. Wow. wow. Yeah. And the line was... It took about an hour. It, yeah, it took to me almost an hour room. to get into it. And um, the stories and the things of just, yeah. you know what, you know, we, we, we need something pulled out of, like, the lake. The lake's drawn down. Here we are. <laughs> it yeah. shows up on the tractor and a, and a pole. Absolutely. Whatever. Wow. Well, for, for another example, and I know from real personal, my daughter... Um, to her ACL, mm -hmm. playing basketball. She 
place down at the Leprechaun in Boston. Oh, mm -hmm. And um, it was a year that they were having um, early release for seniors if they wanted to get a job and or, or try to learn something, they could, but they had to have a letter from somebody. Mm -hmm. And she was all set with one, but she was now on crutches. Because mm -hmm. she you know, could do it. Mm -hmm. Well, she got a letter from Tommy Mack. Come in, you can answer my phones, you can take audits, Aww. you can... Yeah. <laughs> and she loved it. Yeah, no. of but, course. But, I mean, my kids drew, grew up there. Well, I, let's talk about them a little bit, because we... Uh, tell us about your children, how, you know, how many... Well, I have two girls, mm -hmm. and they each have two children, a girl and a boy. Well, actually, one boy's not here yet. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, they spent more time on Pleasant Street than they did in Woodville at our home. Oh. And I have to say, I was guilty of the same thing. Because you couldn't even walk, take a baby in a stroller and walk in Woodville. In Woodville right. right. You have no sidewalks. Mm -hmm. It's a state road. Mm -hmm. And you just couldn't. You know, so the bicycles and the dog ca baby carriages were always on Pleasant Street at my parents. <laughs> yes. So we'd drive up and we'd do whatever was we were going to do. You'd go to town. You could and, do stuff. But they always, but everybody, my kids never wanted to go home. Mm. <laughs> they, because they'd go to McIntyre's. Mm -hmm. the, the kids would be playing mm -hmm. and they'd have their ball game. They had a ball field in the backyard. I don't know if you ever heard that story. I mean, it actually had a mound and a, the base. Wow. Is that, and it's over by Brendan Tedstone's old house, uh, where yeah. Brendan lives now. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. But they had a ball field back there for you guys. So, but, so they, had, they had that, and we always played ball, mm -hmm. you know, and a funny story was, of course, we had, we had our pool, and then they put their pool in, and um, my father was sitting at the pool, and Tommy had some friends home from school, and they were playing ball. Well, all of a sudden, the hard soft baseballs were coming hooking in over the <laughs> fence. And my father got up and he went over to the fence and he said, hey guys, you're getting way too good for those balls. You're going to have to start with wiffle balls. <laughs> <laughs> because the kids had, you know, yeah, yeah. but we well, all, and, every, and again, everybody was allowed to play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I mean, I had a little boy that I babysat for. And I'd take him there to go swimming to my mother's and everything. But Tommy was out with a friend. I don't know if it was hockey or what they were doing. And the little boy was completely amazed. <laughs> so I, I said, well, come, come on over. So Tommy said, want to play? <laughs> and he showed him what to do. Aww. Everything Wonderful was family. easy, yeah. easy with people then. Yeah. Now you have to be. You know, I think that's what people are trying to recapture with Fourth of July: memories of, yeah. you know, easier times, um, family, friends, oh, yeah. simpler times, yeah. maybe yeah. just it's in Mr. terms of. Now, Mr. Kenny had one of those three-wheeled motorcycles or whatever they uh -huh. called them back yeah. then. So hit, we'd, we'd all get our rides. Uh -huh. He'd come out and he'd take us up and around and back again. Um, you know, it just. It, it was a family. Yeah. yeah. Yep. A very big extended family. So I'm assuming you're going to be on one of the floats ask. this year. Oh, absolutely. We're, we're doing a thing thanking the different McIntyres for different things. This so year. you give us we, a sneak yeah. peek of what the theme I, of the float is? Or are you sworn no, to secrecy? I, 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 haven't, I don't even know myself yet. <laughs> so you're just going <laughs> to be on the float. All, I, all I know, I've got to be there at such and such a time to help out. So are you doing this as a uh, family, your float, or is this part of a group? This, well, this, this is to just people that... Um, family like friends. Rick Sofara worked for Tommy. Mm -hmm. um, this, anybody, anybody that wanted to come and help. Ah, mm -hmm. Anybody that wanted to be part of... I know Stu and Nancy Glassman are putting together back a kazoo band, I guess, that used to be oh, yeah. oh, part yes. of it. Kazoo. That used to be Cornell's <laughs> kazoo band. Uh, <laughs> that actually marched in... You know, like that's I don't know, funny. early two thousands. So. Yeah, that's the yeah. Um, so the parade. You guys all meet at the common. Yeah, when, is when that you way, start? How's the whole route go? Well, I know it's new. Well, on it's, cha it's changed obviously because it, the more people came, you had to yeah. have more mm -hmm. space for the people and everything. So they, the last few times they did um, meet the common. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what the plan is this year, but. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah. Well, well, we have to check it out on the website. Because I think I've come road out of Pleasant and then turned down Maine. Yeah, they used yeah. to. Yeah. They probably have to have a bigger staging spot. Oh, yeah. Maybe. yeah. But they, <laughs> some of the things that happens, because the, the people would be working in the backyards, doing their, building their floats and talking to each other mm -hmm. and, you know, and everything. And uh, so they were out. They were up late doing their floats. Oh, and and having a little fun? Yes. <laughs> and there was a fellow two houses up, Dave Whalen, and he had a um, bugle. And I guess he thought the, the older people that were resting had had enough rest because it, Time was, to get up. it was 4 o'clock in the morning and he was standing out in the middle of Pleasant Street with the bugle. <laughs> I think it was Dave, but you know, yeah. but um, I mean, just silly stuff. Now, is it too late for people to enter the parade if there's any last minute? No, I think they can just show up too. They yeah. even, if oh. you have your own vehicles, a lot of times what Rick Silfaro does because of knowing a lot of people with flatbeds mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. everything, you'd, you'd call him and he'd see if he could get you a, a flatbed or a truck yeah. or what you needed. Mm -hmm. But if you have the vehicle mm -hmm. and want to do it, we even had people walk. Or march in it, you know, yeah. walk in the it. The kids used to push I know Carolyn Dykema's like like walking it. Oh, yeah. yes, mm -hmm. and she used to always, she was a pen, pen, I think there were pens or pencils or something. Pens, she, she, yeah, she has their name I on think it. she's doing little Frisbees this year or yeah. something she has. She's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. she's awesome. And uh, I'm not sure if my daughter, my daughter is um, interning with her, but if um, she's always been her candy girl in some of the parades yeah. and wears this big sack and tosses uh -huh. candy for her. But, yeah, she's, she's, doing that and then she goes straight from there over to Lake Massaminock and she's in the boat parade oh, wow. Wow. the same wow. day. I'm surprised I have to know more about the boat parade because um, a lot of my relatives are right over there. It's The boat yeah. parade's fun too. The well, Deneen, all, so all, all of the Scaladas and yeah. the Deans. Because Deen, right. that's them. an old, They're that's a long term, long time. It, not even close. Not, um, this well, is not the, that the, I mean, this is the 14th year for the boat parade. That's a lot. It never existed before. I think we've been in it most That's a lot of years. I think we've been in it most of the years. And, um, because you don't want to get out and decorate your boat too early. Yeah, make it because rain, rain and stuff. or something. Um, so usually while they're doing, people are at Horrible's Parade, we're decorating the boats. And um, we line up at Sandy Beach. You just do a loop down to the dam and then back around. Yeah. And you, sometimes you, I think we do it twice because the reviewing station is um, on Lake Shore. It's mm -hmm. uh, actually Drew Logan and um, Tracy Logan's home. Ah. And um, there's a prize and all that. Um, yeah, it's fun. See, and there's tradition. everything from kayakers to motorboats. Um, you know, one fireworks. thing Hoppington d doesn't do is fireworks in Hoppington on 4th right. of July. Right. I mean, we'll have the fireworks again September. in September. September. But, I mean, Can't there wait. seems to be, a, like, I was looking up earlier, is that fireworks have actually started last night in last places. Night, yeah. And um, <coughs> almost if you want someplace regionally, you can see fireworks almost every day, including the day after the 4th. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, tonight they're in Northbridge. I know Milford is... Milford is, usually has them. Has, yeah. It ha does a pretty decent job. And... On the Real Housewives page, they're asking where to go park, and I guess people go park at the Lowe's park, park at the uh, Target parking lot and, and, there and, and stuff, so that they um, you can see them. Yeah, and I guess Lowe's is one of their favorites, is because you're up high, but you can get right out and get on the yes. highway and get oh. out because all the other lots on Fortune Boulevard you, you get you get bottlenecked bottle and down. and but um, I mean, growing up, we were never around much on Fourth of July, so we were one of the ones that went yeah. away. Yeah. So we always had our Fourth of Julys. Until I was probably in my mid twenties in Baltimore, and we watched fireworks at um, Fort McHenry. Where oh this sure, world. every so, town yeah. has them, but yeah. but it's fun, and there's lots to do around here. And they're starting really tonight. Oh, well, starting last night there were, yeah. and if you go online, um, there's information. Almost every town has them. Yeah. Um, HCAM's probably got stuff posted. Uh, um, Real Housewives Facebook page has yeah, tons of information. And, um, H. Kim has posted up um, what Colleen Roy has written about the history of the Horribles yep. Parade. Right. It's up on their Facebook page. Um, it's getting up on their website. So if you, so haven't, if you haven't seen the history of it, it and kind of embrace the kitschiness and like the warmth of it, there's, these are real families that have grown up yeah. here mm -hmm. and have built something that has become yeah. mm -hmm. a huge tradition. I mean, well, cause yeah. we, we had yeah. um, a lot of ball, field, ball games. And there were a number of broken windows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. And, and nobody yelled at you. You know, they'd say, clean it up. Back in the day. Right? You yeah. know? Clean. But you know, now, you know, with, with the, the legacy that 
the originators had with this parade. Now is the time for people who are new to town to experience the parade. Make it your own. Come out and and uh, be part of it. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah, there I, are a lot I'm of trying to check it out too. They, and they had one. people like. The 4-H would come with the yeah, ponies the and all that. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, well, and, and, and the horses, farm and the the horses the typically do ride in the parade, and, and that's yeah, fun. Yeah. Yeah. I do know we have okay. now two creameries in town, two places to get ice cream. Am I right? <laughs> oh, you can get it. You <laughs> yes. can get well, fresh in the spoonery. Well, yeah, and right? you, can get, you can get it at the spoon. Oh, yeah, the spoonery. Oh, right. Yeah. right, right, right. And then so down the Hayden Row at... Water fresh. And you got the, the yoga. You got the yoga. Yoga oh, in Yoga Beach, Beach. Yeah, yeah, downtown. So Fourth of July means ice missing. cream for you. Is that why? Uh, so <laughs> you said that? I have. I, that's why. Yes, I'm why I'm going, so one more time. Ice cream. Fourth of July. <laughs> it's like gotta go out and have that <laughs> scoop of ice cream <laughs> at the parade right while, while, while it melts in your hand <laughs> and you're watching the parade. So, yeah. so lots of good times. Yeah. 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 Fourth of so July to me, this time of year is all about beach. Yeah. yeah. It's like I want to be at water as much as possible. We'll be heading to the beach for that. Yeah. The two pools, McIntyre's and ours, and it was funny because <laughs> my, my mother was funny about it because she had all our friends, you know, well, you know where the key is. Well, this is where the key is to get into the Everybody can just exactly. Well, you we'll know. have to hear more about that in um, you know, a little bit. We've, we've, we've run over. we got it. we got to wrap it's up. Time it's been fun. 12 o'clock. I, I, I hope uh, you'll Tuesday the 4th. Cut this right so that I don't oh. look too bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No, it's been fun meeting you. Again. Thanks this everybody for fun. being here. Fourth of July, guys. Happy Fourth of July. Be safe. Have and, fun. And I we'll mean, all the, all the things that Tommy did, though. I mean, fixing yes. the the statue yep. down at the cemetery. Absolutely. Everything. For the, there was, you just can't. Yep. You know, that's just. Yeah. So big, a big tribute <laughs> it's, it's to a this big family. There's a hole in this town yeah, right absolutely. now. Yeah. Thank you to Tommy. We'll be honoring Thank you, Tommy. him at the Horribles Parade. Oh, all right. yeah. Happy Fourth of July. Happy Fourth. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get an $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you.